Hello and welcome to this uh, latest Lucosa Retro Game Review video, uh, number 21. And for this game I've chosen Kane. Now Kane wasn't exactly a memorable title, it was not a classic. Um, it was released by Mastertronic, so the most you ever paid for it was $1.99. Uh, but the reason I chose it is because, uh, okay, graphics-wise, the main sprite in this game, you will find familiar. Uh, now, it's a, a Western uh, game. Uh, it's split into four levels, although uh, two of them are nigh on identical. And... It's also pretty tough, um, so what I'll do, I'll start off with um, some practice, so you can see uh, each of the levels, in fact practice is all I'll do, and I'll, I'll go through each of the levels for you. Uh, right, here we go, and see if you can uh, spot where the main sprite, who you are, comes from. Start off with the bow and arrow level. Doesn't that look familiar? <laughs> I how they got away with it, I'll never know. Now obviously the idea of this first level is to kill as many of the birdies as you can. Uh, you're doing this I assume for the uh Indian Chiefs, so well, it's never really explained why you do it. Um, the sound when you hit the birds, it does sound almost sampled. I mean, it's it's not great, but it, it has that sort of sampled uh, sound to it. Now, I've already got uh, a token, that gold coin that appears, so if I was playing the full game, it meant that I would now be able to progress to the next level. However, I am doing atrociously badly here. I, this is usually the level I'm best at, so uh, it gives you an idea of... Uh, oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I've got that one. The collision detection is a bit iffy at best I would say with uh, this one, as a lot of the time your arrow will go straight through like there. So I'm down to one arrow and missed it. So he runs off and then that would be the start of level two. Okay, it is the start of level two. Now I have never been able to uh, do well on this one. I always miss time to jump and do that. So that would uh, then mean game over. So I'll tell you what, we'll do, uh, we'll have another try. So uh, we'll go back to the um, birdies one. Now if I had uh, got more than one token, because those tokens are your lives, so if I'd got more than one, obviously I would have had more than just the one uh, attempt there. I'm already doing a lot better here than I uh, did in the previous go. But, I mean, aside from, you know, putting on a rather badly drawn uh, Stetson, and you can also just make out the uh, gun in its holster, they have essentially just ripped off the uh, sprite from Impossible Mission, and to this day I have no idea how they got away with it. It's uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sure that one went straight through it as well. Um... I mean, I, yes, I can, you know, move the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Move the sight around and aim, but believe it or not, and I would hardly blame you for not believing it at the moment. But uh, doing it this way is the easiest way of making sure you hit the uh, birdies. 
So you can imagine how badly I would be doing if I uh, was trying the other way. So again I'm up to the horse level with only uh, one token. Oh, I don't believe it, I got over it. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever done it, and now I've done it twice. Well, I mean I am stunned that I got that far. Okay, we well see level one and two. Um, I'll show you uh, the fourth stage. Now, bear in mind that this is supposed to be. Uh, they are all meant to be different stages. The only difference is that you're going the other way. But other than that, it's the same thing. You have to. You have to catch up with the. Uh, front of the train and um, get them to stop and that just leaves uh, the third stage which is your good old uh, shootout where your character decides that the best place to stand when you are facing uh, enemy uh, gunslingers is right out in the open. And I've just been shot, which is hardly surprising. So we'll give that uh we'll give that one more go. Alright, shoot out. Here we go. So again running on, clearly I mean it's not that it, you know, has just worked out that it looks similar to uh, uh, the Impossible Mission Sprite. It is the Impossible Mission Sprite, and you know, I would love to know how the hell they got away with it, or even how the hell they thought that they, you know, would would get away with it. Uh, so I've killed. I'm also almost out of bullets. I think, uh, yeah, I think this uh, next shot is my last shot. I don't have any left after that. In fact, I don't have any left at all. Okay, so you run off screen and reload. Okay, I've got that one, so I killed three. Four. I'm not doing too bad here. Let's go and get some more. Well, I've killed five of them. Yeah, that's pretty good for me. Six. Is that the lot? Surely not. Yeah, here we go. Seven. Now, does that mean he's the only one left? I highly doubt it, but you know, it is not. Shit, it was just too slow. Uh, let's get some more bullets. I mean, the graphics on, you know, the, the things you're meant to shoot are pretty crap, to put it mildly, you know. The so really, the only decent graphics within the game are, well, is, is your main sprite, and the only reason for that is because they've lifted it straight out of another game, um, you know, didn't do that one themselves. Alright, I've got one bad guy left. Let's refill. Where is he? He's up there. Actually, no, there's two of them. So it says I've only got one bad guy left to shoot, but uh, there are two of them appearing. Okay, well, that's that bad guy done. So that means off to uh, try and uh, do this one, which I'm wow. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. That's about, uh, well actually that's pretty good for me. Um, so there you go, that is Kane. Um, and say so the the blatant uh, theft list, you know, no other way of putting it, of the main sprite from Impossible Mission is my reason for showing it. Because, I mean, I don't know how they got away with it. Um, if any of you know how they got away with it, you know, uh, leave a comment and let me know, because I've always wondered. Um, so what do I rate it? It's, um, I mean, no, it's not great. It's, it's not the worst game I've ever played, you know, it's not carnal, so it has that going for it. Um, I'll give it, uh, I'll, I'll give it three and a half. It's not quite as good as uh, a four, but it's it's not as bad as uh, as some. So this 199 game, I think, yeah, I rate it almost twice as highly as Psycho Soldier, which was a full price uh, 10 quid game. There you go. So yes, that's Kane, three and a half out of ten, uh, and that brings this video to an end. We shall. See you at the next one.